Hi, I'm Mark Stevens. Seems that some people dislike that I refer to Federal Reserve notes as fake money in my video, The Grand Illusion. Gas prices are not going up. Let's look at the facts, though. All right. Now, these are copies of Federal Reserve notes. Notice it says at the top, very clearly, Federal Reserve Note. That is what they're known as legally and commonly. Now, the following citations are both from Ballantine's Law Dictionary. First, note. A written promise to pay another a certain sum of money at a certain time. A negotiable promissory note. A term used interchangeably with promissory note. I gotta tell you, it doesn't bode very well for these little Federal Reserve notes, does it? It gets worse. Let's look at promissory note. A contract in writing for the payment of money, usually with the added feature of negotiability. A term used interchangeably with note. Again, a contract in writing for the payment of money. See, so legally, a note is not money. It's only a promise to pay money. So we know the Federal Reserve note is definitely not money, though many people falsely believe that they are. Well, the question now turns is, is a Federal Reserve note really a note? That is, a promissory note or a contract? Well, let's look at the notes again. I gotta tell you, I don't see anything here about a promise to pay money, especially when so many people think it is money. So, what we learned is Federal Reserve notes are legally not money and they are not real notes. Still think the housing crash or the dramatic increase in the price of oil is not directly due to these fake notes? Yeah. Stop listening to the politicians. Look at the facts.